I like it. I like this comment. My mind has expanded a little bit. I feel more intelligent than I did 30 seconds ago before I read this comment on a recent video I did called, if I lost more hair, would you respect me more or less? Someone with the name of read and then delete me had this to say, quote, would I respect you less if you had less hair? I don't know about respect, but I would certainly envy you less. And I can't help but feel that respect and envy are ultimately linked with one another, end quote. I love that, that's very interesting. Never really thought about that, even though I guess I've always known it, that respect and envy are kind of the same thing. I made a video a while back talking about what does it mean to be cool as a guy, and ultimately that was part of the definition of being cool, is that if someone's cool, there's something they have that you sort of envy and aspire to have. So it is interesting, let's say that five years from now, when I'm in my 40s, and let's say I, I, I've officially moved to Norwood 3 Vertex, and I've got less hair than now, uh, people could watch me and say, yeah, I still respect everything he says, absolutely, there's a lot of truth in it, but ultimately I just don't envy him as much because of his hair. But granted, five years from now, I'm gonna be older, so it's, I don't know, it's like you could look at a video of me, it, say I was 28 right now, well, I'd have Norwood too and no thinning, you know? So the older I get and the amount of hair I still have still kind of carries on that same concept. So I do think that's definitely interesting that while there's so much alike, respect and envy, there's a bit of a Venn diagram and ultimately you still can separate the two. And I think there's a lot of truth in it. I think a lot of people watch my videos and they would say, okay, yeah, if you had less hair, I wouldn't envy you as much, but I'd still respect you. You know what I respect? That comment. That's awesome. I like it. 